forgive me. Hi, this is Sylvia, and we're here in Montreal for Mabel Cat seminar this weekend. Thank you. And uh, Mabel came all the way from California, and we're so grateful to have you here for the first time in Montreal. Thank you, thank you. I'm grateful to you and Gary for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Mabel, I'd like to ask you just a few questions. Sure. Um, what is Ho'oponopono? Okay, what is it? Uh, <laughs> so Ho'oponopono is a very ancient Hawaiian art of problem solving. So problems are just memory, the programs play. Like when we go to the movies and we see on the screen, the movie, we experience it, we feel it, but we know it's not there. Actually, it is in the projector. So Ho'oponopono is how do I stop the projector if I don't like the movie? How can I change the end of the movie? if I don't like it, because really we are creating our own movies as we go, moment by moment, with the decisions that we take. So that's Ho'oponopono. How do I change uh, the movie? How do I erase the problems, the movies? The movies? And if somebody doesn't know how, how do they do it? Yes. Very well, Ho'oponopono is very simple, but you're not going to believe it. So how do I complicate it? Uh, how do I turn off, turn off that uh, projector by saying a thank you? Because what we resist, persists. So what you want is to uh, say thank you to things because are really blessings in your life even if they don't look like. So we say I love you, we show the other cheek to the problem, to the movie. And again, it's not about resisting, per, uh, uh, per, because what we resist perceive, it's not about engaging, getting the things. And I, uh, yes, and the song is called my So <laughs> we confirm, yes, yes. So I, we are in Montreal, in a hotel, okay, <laughs> at Sheraton. And we come to this corner, and, and the Ho'oponopono, a song that somebody wrote about Ho'oponopono is just playing. It's like... It's pretty amazing. Yes. Now, in Ho'oponopono, we talk about, or you talk about, 100% responsibility. What does that mean to somebody that has never okay. yeah. realized that? Okay. When some people, when they say 100% responsibility, you know they would they want to run away and they say, what? I am 100% responsible. But first of all, let's clear. Responsibility and guilt are not synonymous, okay? I'm not saying we are guilty. We are responsible. So what am I 100% responsible of? The problems, the movies that are inside of me and they are showing, you know, in the screen of my life. So 100% um, responsibility will set you free because now you know you created it, you attracted it because it's something inside of you, now you can change it. And the beautiful thing is when you change it inside of you, it changes for everybody. Uh, memories or these movies get erased from you, your family, relatives and ancestors. Mabel, you wrote this book, The Easiest Way to Grow. Yes. What inspired you to write this book? Yes. Well, I always lamented that I didn't find this before. I said, why didn't I discover? Why didn't I wake up sooner? And here in this book, I put all the messages that I, I would have liked to know when I grew up. I said, oh my God, my life would have been so different. But we know the universe is perfect. So we wake up, we would have to wake up. If you are listening to this, is because this is for you, no, no question about it. So a part of you brought you here. So um, the book is about uh, giving permission not only to children, but to the children inside of ourselves to be ourselves, to accept ourselves just the way we are, and, and to know really who we are. We are unique, we have unique talents. There is something that, that we only can do, nobody else can do it. And we have a purpose, we all have a very important mission uh, in this life, and then it is time to wake up. So this is a book for children three to 100 year old. Actually, we needed more than our children. But listen, you know, it comes with a CD, so you can just play the CD, you know, uh, we need to reprogram ourselves, so it's by repetition. You just put it and get busy with your life, but your subconscious mind will, will get it. So 
do you have children coming to your seminars? I I love. I have many children coming to my seminars, and they they I they are a gift to me. You know, they teach me, they give me confirmation, um, and and they can grab this information. You know, in in an hour they got it. <laughs> okay, well, to the adults you have to be convincing them <laughs> of the information. But uh, children are are like sponges, and also they know this. They know they are trying. They are waiting for us to get. So um, I love to have children in, in the training, and really they are a gift to all of us. They are our teachers. And so if there's any kids out there yes. listening and they don't know about Ho'oponopono but are, are being bullied or having problems at school or at home, how can they use this information okay. um, every day in those hard moments? Uh, one of the things that I would, I would tell kids, remembering how I felt and you know, growing up and remembering a little bit of, of all that, one of the things that I think is so important is to remember we are unique and we are all important. So it's not about pleasing other people or trying to belong to the group. Sometimes, you know, we see that everybody's going, uh, you know, one way, but we really feel in our hearts. We know, we cannot explain how, but we know that that's not the right way. We know that the right way is, and trust, trust that inner heart, you know, the, the knowing part of you, that if it tells you to go the other way, even if the leader goes, even if the whole group goes, you can be yourself, allow yourself to be yourself. And then maybe you are willing to, to practice Ho'oponopono, so in, in times of fear, in times of confusion, or things like that, you just can repeat in your mind, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even if you are afraid, you know, thank you, thank you. Or if you are angry, thank you, thank you. You know, you just say it mentally, and it's about stopping that move because it's not real. It's not real. So we just need to remember to stop it because we are the only ones that can do it. Nobody else can do it. And and it could happen even at home with parents or with siblings or things like that. Uh, we cannot help it because we are asleep. We don't know who we are. So if you are the one that is as you know away, just be patient. You know, you just press. The, the the stop button in the projector and then you know slowly but surely everybody will get it it takes you to be at peace it takes you to be one to be happy and then you know it like gets contagious okay and you don't need to even say anything try it thank you so let's talk about this weekend okay hope on upon oh we're yes. doing on saturday and What's going to happen? <laughs> so, Sorry. we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> okay? I, I don't prepare for training, so I don't have any idea. But um, definitely, the Saturday is about Ho'oponopono, uh, how I learn it from my teacher, Ihaliakala, Hulen. Uh, I try to be as uh, truthful and faithful to, to the teachings of the way. I got it, but I put a little bit of the Latino flavor, you know? Some music, so uh, it's a little bit of fun. But um, it is an exciting day. We connect with our inner child, this subconscious part in us that um, that will help us to do the, this cleaning, this erasing, this stopping of the project. And uh, very important, great tools. I thank you and I love you, but we get many, many tools. Uh, different ways of doing this work and, and to help you really just to be yourself and be happy. Why not? You don't need to be right. You want to be happy. That's great. And Sunday is zero frequency. And zero frequency is about finding yourself, your passion, your, who you really are. They said passion is your compass. And if you follow your passion, if you love, if you follow, you know, and you do what you love, money, resources, people, everything will just lie. Uh, up, you know, will come to you. You don't have to work hard at it, like we were taught. So it is about, again, being yourself and trusting that you can do what you love and make money, you know, so and make a living. So it takes uh, a lot of the inside work. So in, on Sunday, I take you on a journey, you know, an inside journey. 
where you can really look at yourself and see what is working, what is not working, what it could be maybe something that you need to let go in order to attract that you, that you want in your life. And definitely finding yourself, your passion, and uh, getting the strength to know really who you are and how powerful you are. Wow, well, I'm really excited. Thank you, and thank I'm you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank, thank you for coming to Quebec. No, it's, thank you. Uh, thank you. It's wonderful. great being here. I, I have been here, but as a tourist. You know, my <laughs> kids were very little at that time. And I'm so happy to be here again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.